Hello and welcome to episode five of The Engine Room, sponsored by Land Rover. Today, joined by two wonderful guests, Jamie Dobby, the scrum half, and Robbie Ferguson, the centre. Connett result, talk to me Dobby, you featured in that one. Yeah, good away win on the road, I think. What was that, five points and our, um, yeah, last 20, I think we just sort of took that to them, scored Good, good few tries at the end there, and then finished off 40, 40 points in the bag. I think we got so. Um, nah, that was that was a good one actually. I think we we talked a lot about what it can be like in Galway, didn't we? And then Holy. we got over there, and it, it wasn't too bad though. Yeah, well, it was still a win, wasn't there? Yeah, but it wasn't what, raining. Has, yeah, that was the main thing. When you get both of them, then you're in trouble. But yeah, the wind wasn't as bad. I've seen balls go over the post and come back over and on it. So, Robbie, obviously we've touched on it this morning in training. We didn't have the best result um, against Scarlet, but we're still up there. Talk to us about that. Yeah, we're still really in the fight. Tied fourth at the Edinburgh, which sets us up nicely for this weekend. So, obviously a big important game at home. We always speak about defending our home and there's a, well, no better rival to come up against. We're sitting exact same place in the table and one team's going to kick on. So, better be us. It will be us, won't Dobby? 100%. Um, let's go personal highlights, boys. Start with you, Rab. Personal of highlights the season from, so for this far. season so far, yeah. Well, I've only played one game so far, so. Um, nah, I was obviously away start of the year with the, the GB stuff and doing all that sort of thing, so um, the Olympics probably comes into that for myself and then cracking on and captaining GB to the, the series stuff in Dubai, which was pretty special for me, and then coming back here and getting involved in that Munster game, like things worked out quite well for me, being able to do a little bit of both this year. So um, yeah, that ability to do sevens, which I've been in for a little while and then get the opportunity to pop back to 15s and get a shot against uh, Munster was, was good for me. And obviously the line out throwing amongst that, it's got to be a highlight, good Instagram coverage. Yeah, yeah Dives, have you, have you played sevens? Not since school. Played quite a bit of sevens, obviously, on the school set up. School's but... last year for him though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. No, 19 or something. Um, How old are you? 29. Bloody hell, yeah, why 20 always 20 that player 20 21 this summer though. On. It worries me, it worries me how young you boys are. Yeah, so you never get older. It's like me, I suppose. I'm never going to yeah, make it past exactly. 30, me. But You dabbled Wilson, sevens, no? No, I haven't actually. I would have been bloody good at sevens, I reckon. Hey, it's Commonwealth Games coming up, you can get yourself in there. Yeah, why not? Nah, yeah. Throw well. me out in the ring. <laughs> I played sevens once when I was a kid and just kept my shoulder and that, that uh, put me off for life. First touch of the ball, scored a try, yeah. but just kept my shoulder. Um, no, now we know you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I did. <laughs> Don't do this to me, Dobie. Yeah. <laughs> Standout player for Glasgow during the Six Nations period. Oh, I'll let you both pick one. And obviously, you don't, say, don't have to say me. Wow. So, other than me, standout yeah. player throughout the Six Nations period for, for Glasgow. Well, wow, I'm got to go Ollie Smith, I think. Oh. The boy's stepped up. Oh, friends. He? Oh, I know. I've got to stick with my young crew, eh? But um, Ollie, I think he's just had limited... Game, uh, game time, start of the season, probably got a bit frustrated, want to be, obviously everyone wants to be playing, wasn't getting the chances as such, and then got his opportunity, <clears throat> I think the first one was La Rochelle off yep. the bench, what can you do, five minutes, two tries, you've got to start him the next week, and then he's just gone on strength to strength there. And Robbie, who you got, mate? Yeah, I echo stuff about um, Ollie probably, and then you got to, I think I'd chuck my next man there as well, he's obviously done a job at nine, at wing, like, not been an easy straightforward run again, but frustrated with game time and you've had a bit of, bit of a crack there. I thought you played really well across nine and wings. So you have to throw, the, throw this man in the hat. Let's get on to that then, whilst you've mentioned it. So Jamie, playing on the wing versus Munster, mate, what happened there? How how much did you panic when you heard you coming on at nine? How, how soon, oh, sorry, wing, how soon was it? Uh, five minutes, pure <laughs> uh, taking a wee knock to the head. So as soon as I saw him go down, it was less than five minutes on the clock. To be fair, Nigel had actually spoken to me during the week and had said, first time we'd ever said this, like, look, if something did happen to one of the wingers, like, would you be comfortable running on the wing and uh, obliged? And then I was expecting nothing to come from it. I'll do, come off the bench at nine, but no, Roof decides he's not having it after five minutes, so. But how good, how good was he? Yeah, amazing, but my question is, can we actually say no to the coaches in those conversations? <laughs> like, you know they've got the idea <laughs> yeah. in their head, you all right to cover that? Like, it's, it's a bit of a leading uh, question. <laughs> Yeah, no chance. You never say no, are you? <laughs> no, nah, exactly. Got to, got to go. But yeah, no, I enjoyed it. Obviously, it wasn't the best night to be a winger. I think I touched the ball twice, just chasing kicks most of the night. Did the job, mate. Nah, we got the win in the end, eh? We did, we, we did. And what other positions have you played, Dobbs? Uh, oh, I'm, I'm not very exciting. I've mostly been at scrum half. I've always been the smallest. 
growing up so that pushed me in the back line okay but um played once on the wing before east under 16s versus west at scottston chucked back out in the wing for the last five minutes got a wee dot and that's my one one so time that's it wing. you've never played a professional game at oh no any sort of rugby no, no, no. Wing. i've just been at nine up until months can't now. be that hard can it well, exactly. That's what I do. It can't be that easy, doesn't it? Yeah. You, chuck a, you chuck a wing at nine. I don't know how they're going. At any <laughs> point, did you accidentally like try to go to the ruck and play nine? Oh, I did that. I think a couple of times George got caught in there. I'm just like, right, I'm here. But yeah, but there's got to be something in there, surely. I've seen Seba step mm. up a few times at nine, and he's obviously a wing. Well, yeah. There's got, you know what I mean? You've, it's a good thing having a an out and out nine on the wing who can come in play with two nines. Yeah, I'd back up most of our wingers in the wing. Yeah. True. Yeah, uh, yeah. Sorry, scrum halves in the wing, like Gog Horn, put them in the wing, he'd be fine. Yeah. Seven, well, though. You yeah. know, he's played to come half for the Haguaras. Yeah, yeah, I know, yeah. yeah. So that's why you see him dipping in and out. Well, I've seen him pass that. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, talking about other positions, would have yeah. stuck you in the front row for a scrum, but you weren't allowed to do that, but you're allowed to throw in. Yeah. Talk to us about that. There was a plan around the method to the madness, wasn't there? Yeah, 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 the old chicken arms. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, you, have you seen, have you yeah, seen yeah, it yeah, with yeah. the old elbows? Uh, has he seen it? That's good technique. Elbows <laughs> tight. <laughs> Elbows <laughs> tight. Elbows <laughs> tight. <laughs> I'm surprised. No, I, I'm going to make a TikTok of that. Yeah, I know. I'm sure there is. <laughs> I'm sure there is one. There's one. Oh, yeah. No, I'm sure there will be one. Um, no, it was a week out the back of England, Scotland, wasn't it? And there yeah. was the old Joe Marler chucking versus England. And then we were at Ravens Craig and I was starting that game versus Munster. And I think you leadership boys had a, had a meeting about the what if scenarios. And I think I got chucked in the ring for throwing, playing nine, <laughs> kicking, whatever it was going to well, be. Well, that's it, you're a sevens player. Yeah, so jack, of all, jack of all trades, master of none, get me in there. And then obviously you don't think it's ever going to happen. We had one little trial run at Ravenscraig and then lo and behold, Fraz got a yellow. He did, yeah. Yellow. That's yeah, shocking, first unbelievable. What, his first <laughs> yellow of the season? First Probably his second or third. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Fraz did it and then I'm thinking... We'll get through this without having a line out, boys. We'll get through this. No, I'm then... saying kick the ball off. <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah, great, great night. And double tops, hit Richie. And then... It was beautiful. I didn't get the call, but the mall. I've had a lot of heat for this. I've taken off. Oh, yeah. You style. I'm bombing it back. I'm getting into the back line. And everyone's like, oh, yeah. He's, uh, he's bottled going in the mall there. But I'd have been back at that thing controlling it yeah, if I, I, if I could have done. We probably didn't talk about that bit too much, nah, did we? Nah, I just knew the call and that was all. <laughs> so I was out of there as fast as I could. No, but you've, um, was your hat ever thrown in the ring? You've thrown in, haven't you? Uh, well, Pricey did it. Yeah, didn't well, Nines are the next ones for some reason. Why is that? For the last last weekend, who do we have? Scarlet's away. We talked about it, and the nines were the one because it means you're sort of you're normally in and around the line outs anyway. So you could do throw in. You got a nice simple call. Practiced a bit on the team run day. I hit a couple of them. So I think luckily I didn't have to in the game. It's actually easy. Isn't it? It's not that hard. They always complain about it, eh? But yeah. Well, I, I always said this. When I played fifteens, I went sevens. I was like. Hookers have like basically one job: throw the ball in straight. And, and how do they get it. it wrong? How do they get it wrong? And see, when I've actually had to do it, yeah, I've got a bit of a newfound respect. But I mean, really? Yeah. It's, at the same time, like that's me playing sevens. Like I'm not the best at throwing in the world. I'll say that. But like these boys, I'm like, oh, it should have been like that. But when the pressure comes on, there's some big boys in there. It's not. It's not that easy. <laughs> All right, boys. Let's let's talk about the obviously environment again. We've mentioned a lot of players away. What's the environment like when the uh, the Scotland boys away? The big dogs, the the Xander Fagersons, the Ali Prices, the Jamie Dobby. Yeah, the Jamie Dobby's dipping in and out. He boys, you've a few been trips in away, haven't you? Camp, yeah. Oh, listen, I've had a wee trip to Rome last yeah, weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Murphy yeah. Walker coming oh, in, yeah, like wearing dogs like white that. boots after one week's training and <laughs> taking 17. a day off on a Monday. Yeah, too big for his boots. Yeah, exactly. Literally. Um, um, yeah, come on, talk to me about environment. Yeah, I mean, it stays pretty constant. Sometimes you maybe get to know some boys a little bit better because you do have less people in the building. You maybe speak to different people again and things are a bit more, I don't know, it's just it's a bit, bit of a tighter group, isn't it? But um, And I think you've got to come together as well because you're going to be playing on the field and like you say, you've got less rest, less reps. You sometimes are backs against the wall when we lose so many boys away. So I think it is a good time for us to sort of unite and get a little bit closer as a squad. But as a whole, I'd say it stays fairly consistent, the, the environment in general, I would say. It's nice to not have like the Fagersons here though, isn't it? Just like for a break. <laughs> Do you know yeah, what I mean? Both of them for a few weeks. Eh? Just yeah, both the Fagersons <laughs> out the building just for a few weeks. It's quite a nice, quite a nice break, isn't it? Go on, Dobbs, you back yourself, uh, what you got? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> knows what he's doing. <laughs> yeah, they're both in our changing room, so that you free up space in the changing room, well, yeah. you yeah. get some new faces and booths, you learn some new, some boys got good crack, you yeah. get a lot of good stories yeah, off some well. of these young boys. <laughs> There's, yeah, uh, learning a lot, Tell learning us. a lot. 
Oh, well, listen, this has been episode five of The Engine Room, sponsored by Land Rover. Thanks very much, guys.